Soul. Welcome to another day of Food for the Soul. So today, I'm going to be doing Mabel Goodchild's pan fried tilapia and broccoli and rice. So let's get ready and go. Food for the Soul. Food for the Soul. Food for the Soul. Yes. Another day of Food for the Soul. Hey, this recipe right here is, is real easy, real simple, is real quick, and it's healthy too. So uh, this is my tilapia right here. And my uh, broccoli and cheese rice is not going to be homemade. It's something fast and simple. This is what I like using sometimes because it's a good taste. It's good quality and... Uh, Plus it's fast and easy. So for my uh, my tilapia, first thing I do is I use a house of orchard uh, chicken in season. You saying what? This is fish. Why are you using chicken seasoning for fish? Well, sometimes you can do that. You can use chicken seasoning for fish sometimes. It's just the way you do it. All right, so I got that right there. So I'm gonna add some onion powder to it. Uh, go by eye with it. Some garlic powder. Add some cornmeal to it too. It you gotta have the cornmeal with it too because it's fish and this the way that I like mine so I just uh, season it real I'm gonna uh, mix it up real good all right so for my fish itself, uh, my uh, fish is dry, so I'm going to use a, a little bit of olive oil, and the, the olive oil goes a long way. I'm just going to put some to my fish, rub it around. Just like that. That's the best thing to buy olive oil. And it goes a long way. Alright, take this glove off. Sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. Uh, the way I like this is just on one side. And pepper. You can do it on both sides, but I like to just uh, season mine on one side. All right. Just like that, uh, which is real, real fast, real easy. My uh, pan right here, it's already heated up. So I'm gonna need some olive oil. And since my pan is already uh, warm, we ain't gonna need uh, too much olive oil. Now my uh, my olive oil, but in my pan uh, should be ready. Now uh, this is the dish right here. When you start cooking it, you really can't leave it alone for too long because tilapia cooks real fast. Try to move it around so uh, make sure my oil is all over. And 
and when you uh, put your tilapia in, you don't want your uh, you don't want your olive oil you're smoking. So this is big enough to cook three at a time. So I'm going to let that cook and I'm going to be back. Now, uh, this salmon right here is done. Took about five minutes uh, for it to cook, which is not long. Let me uh, rinse this pan out real quick and do uh, three more. Uh, See, okay, my pan is... Uh, been uh, rinsed off and uh, warmed up again. So I'm going to add some olive oil to it. And again, uh, not a lot because a little bit goes a long way. All right, start around the pan. I'm going to put a little bit more in it. So this should be warm because this this pan was already hot, 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 hot. Oh yeah, hot. Really, 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 really hot. So, so I'm gonna get my other piece of uh, tilapia. What I'm gonna do is dab it back in this flour again. So I dabbed it up uh, back in this flour again. And I throw it in a pan like that. Let me try to move around some of this olive oil. All and the reason why that I put olive oil see on top of the fish also is to make my uh my meal stick and As you can see, the uh, the oil goes to one side of the pan, so it helps uh, balance out that cooking. All right, let me move around this grease a little bit. Like this fish ain't gonna take no time, uh, like five, uh, six minutes to cook. Uh, gonna be totally done, and it's good to sometimes eat good, good and healthy food because when you always eating fried foods or uh, greasy foods and all, well, like food, it's not healthy. That's not good for the body. But. Uh, we take the time right uh, sometimes to eat all healthy. That's good for you. So I'm going to be back when the fish is done. Plate it up for you and see the finished product. So this is my pan fried uh, tilapia right here. So it's done. I'm going to take it out, which is breaking up. That's normal because it's real soft and tender. Let me set the camera down, and I'll be back with it. I set my camera down, getting the rest of my fish out. And what I should do is, since I'm already right here, 
is to start plating up. As you can see, this sloppy is real flaky. All right. So this is the finished product right here. Pan tilapia, pan fried tilapia with broccoli and cheese rice. It's real fast, uh, simple to uh, make. Plus it's good to eat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, and leave me a comment because I'm trying to boost up my channel and it uh, helps YouTube to play my videos more. And i see you next time on Food for the Soul. Food for the Soul. Yeah.